me make my island, damn it. I need it. I need it now, but we can't. We can't have it now. We can't. We must. It has been a hot minute since the last time I streamed. And by that I mean about two weeks. Uh, it's been a pretty productive two weeks. There's a lot going on. And, uh, I gotta shake the rust off a little bit. Gotta get myself back in gear here. Uh, this was... When I came home from my trip, there was, like, a huge issue with my computer. And thankfully I was able to work it out. Had to reset up OBS afterwards. And I had the audio issue for a bit, but I managed to fix it very quickly. So... Let's just dive right back into Somnium Files because I don't want to put off finishing this game for a few reasons. Um, starting this week throughout next week, I'm going to be working a later shift. Uh, and it's going to make streaming at night very difficult. So what I might try to do is finish this game tomorrow. Ooh, that's a little loud. Let's uh, kick that down a bit. Uh, I'm going to try to finish this game by tomorrow. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is, the next two weeks, I'm probably gonna do morning streams. Like, I'm not sure the exact time, but it'll probably be like, I start at 9, and I end at like, 11.30. Um, but I'm also, actually no, that might not work, because I, I need to plan my day around that. Uh, I might finally get back to Ring Fit Adventure this week as well, since, uh, I'll be streaming so early. But I don't know if I'm gonna do, like, a full stream in the morning, because I need time to, uh, like, clean up and get to work afterwards. It's only gonna be for two weeks, but I would like to finish this game tomorrow, so that way I don't- I'm not streaming this, like, early hours while the people that usually watch it are here at night. If they're even still here, it's been so long now, they might all have just, uh, fucked off into oblivion. So let's see, it has been a while. Um, these aren't gonna make any sense because I've jumped around a bit off stream. Uh, so in this timeline, we're interrogating Hitomi for some reason because I don't remember. We suspect her of being involved in the murder, I think, a murder. At this point, there's so many things going on, I can't fully piece together everything. Uh, off stream, I did go back to Iris's second Somnium to get the uh, remaining photo I missed, which I will show off in just a second. So we're back here. I remember I had a lot of trouble with this. Um, I don't have to observe the flower first and then go into the holes and stuff. But I can't. I'm kind of drawing a blank after that. It, it, damn it. It's been a while. See, I got Iris A on day five. Hitomi B saved, which is weird. I thought it didn't save if uh, you restart the Somnium, but apparently it doesn't. I guess you just have to hit a checkpoint. So we got Iris A, which is uh, Ibo standing out in the rain. Uh, what looks to be an earlier design of Iris with more bright colors. And something that reminds me of a character from an anime. I can't remember which one, though. So we've only got, like, three sinks left after this. One of which only has one file, apparently. If you need a refresher of where we are exactly, um... We are here. We're here. We already went this way. This was the Believe in Iris uh, timeline, which ended with her dying of a brain hemorrhage because she has a tumor. And, uh... We found, like, the alternate sink machine in the other route. Uh, this route, the, we did learn something important before starting this sink, and that's that if you're in the sink for too long, you swap bodies with the other person. Which is what the time limit's actually meant to prevent. Uh, it avoids abusing the system. A flower bud. I cannot identify the variety. Uh, s I think smell was the one that gets us ahead here. Unfortunately, it doesn't save the correct answers until you've already finished the, uh... What happened? Somnium once. It doesn't have any particular smell, but for some reason, I nearly blacked out. Maybe it's poisonous. Be careful. What's this? Caring words from you, Date. What are you hiding? A flower bud. I can... 
figure out type. I guess that was it. I cannot identify the type. It appears to be a flower huh? bud. This doesn't make any sense. Worship it? Yeah. I will pray to it as though I am mourning the dead. I don't remember that being the solution last time, but well, whatever. It time waits for no man. I don't know what caused it, but it's better than nothing happening. This is also the last route I can take right now, so... Chances are that other lock is going to be undone. something to fall out? Ah, oh, man, I can't remember. I'm gonna go in oh, loop oh, now. Oh, I got a half off, though. Five minutes left, Dante. I cannot see anything. It is unnaturally dark. Did you notice anything? I did hear the faint sound of the wind. It must be hollow on the inside. A hole in a tree. I swore there was something here. No, I. Why did. Ah, oh, crud. Whoa. There we go. I fell, but I am still in the forest. It's darker than before. What? Is someone there? Hey. That voice is. Find out where that voice is coming from. I need to find hole number two. There it is. I have to stick my hand in there, if I'm not mistaken. A hole in the. Oh no! I have to tackle it. That was it. Understood. Yeah, we get the photo. Renji. Now show picture to him. Renji. He shook. I have to find that other hole. Hole one. There we go. What is this? Okay, now I have to get something to show to her. We should pursue a more peaceful route. Yeah, I perhaps agree. we should. A hole in a tree. What is this? A web of some kind? Well, it would have to be a spider web. Uh, I have web on my face. A hole in a Grim. Hitomi! Date likes Hitomi! Hey, what are you trying to say? Hitomi won't remember this sink, but still. Hitomi stopped. I don't have what I need to do this, though. If I'm not mistaken, I need to find something in a different hole? Or wait. A hole in a tree. 
Maybe I could stick hand in? I'm not sure. I won't get sucked in. Uh, oh, the bracelet! Yes, yes, I remember now. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. That's a tough. Do you remember this? Wait! Follow her! On it! I remember this Somnium giving me quite a hard time last stream. She went down this one, right? A large hole. If there is nothing left to do... Enter the hole. Date, what is going on? I don't know. It's pitch black. I can't see anything. I see. Then it is not me malfunctioning. Can you feel your way around? I can try. Reveal the secret. Cluster amaryllis. A lycoris flower. Lycoris. Grab, dig up, worship, investigate. Well, let's just try grabbing it. I feel a little awkward, but... It's useless. The roots must be strong. It won't budge. You have one minute left. A lycoris flower. Worship again, maybe? Nothing is happening. That's to be expected, but still disappointing. Okay. Lycoris. Dig up. Let's do it. Wh what? Another hole. A large hole. Dante, you've got less than 30 seconds. I'm guessing this is the last motion, because if it takes this much time. We've come this far. I will not protest now. <laughs> okay. the end that is yeah i think this is the end i did it didn't get the picture though oh is this a dead girl right iris is like look alike from 10 years prior yep that's why we were investigating hitomi because she knew about this body Well, that sucks. But to be expected, we knew we, we knew she was going to know that. Kokai. Tuesday. But tell me, I think I know what happened 18 years ago. You three were close. You, Monica, and Renju. Monica was murdered. You and Renju found the body in the mountains. Ooh, that's not the route I was going with. I thought Renju might have been the murderer. 
brought it back to the cold storage warehouse. My guess is so Sejima killed Monica. Yeah, I guess she's really the only likely candidate here. I've seen inside his head before, using this machine. I see. If you know that much, then there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'll tell you the truth. Put auto on here. My ears are overheating a bit in these headphones, which was kind of a problem when I was on my trip. Uh, so... I actually went to a Texas Furry Fiesta with some friends. Uh, I actually just got a fursuit. Surprise, if you didn't realize it by my channel, uh, I'm a furry. And man, that head gets so hot. I actually just brought the suit back to my friend today who's going to be doing like alterations on it for the next uh, like few months. And we're going to debut it properly at Anthrocon in July. Uh, it was fun. I met some new friends, friends that I've like never met in person before. Uh, I got to hang out with some cool people. I roomed with uh, my friend Sean, who's, as, as I've mentioned, is actually in this game. He does the voice of Pewter. Uh, he was pretty cool. Hey, uh, how's it going? Been a while. I see you finally changed your Twitch name. But yeah, Sean was pretty cool. He was, he was really neat to hang out with in person. We actually had a nice long talk uh, before our, cha our uh, trip ended, before we took our flights home. All right, so, uh, Monica- You're going oh. to see so? Yes, I want to talk to him in person. No, you can't. Why not? Are you worried about my body? You don't have to worry about that. I'm totally fine. So, wait, is Renju holding a, a child? Oh, he's holding a... He's holding baby... Wait a minute. No, that doesn't make any sense, though. But your stomach is still... Oh, my doctor told me that's normal. Wait, did she already give birth and her stomach's still distended? You realize it's 18... Is it Satine or Satine? Satine. It's close to Satine, so I only have to change the tax the H and change around some letters. I think it fits you. I think the name is great, and I'm very happy that you've decided on a name that works for you. Your stomach doesn't go down right away after giving birth. I'm not worried about your body. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. So doesn't care about you, and especially not your child. I haven't told him about giving birth. Oh, okay. So, so, not so the person. So the child that Renju is holding is probably Iris. Monica still looks pregnant. So Sejima probably kills her because he thinks that would kill Iris as well. He contacted me for the first time in a while. So that's why. He wants to know about the baby. He must be panicking. If anyone ever finds out his mistress had his baby... His political career would be over. Uh, yep. So, so Iris is indeed So's child. It's not like it was an affair. His wife passed away after giving birth to his son, right? It would still be a big scandal. He impregnated a girl who just graduated high school. Don't you see how that looks? He knew how the public would take it. So Sejima has a son. Oh boy. Okay. So, last stream... Ooh, I'm, I'm peeking a bit here. Let me turn that down. So last stream, when it was revealed that if you use the sink machine too long, you could swap bodies with another person, uh, I was walking to work the following day, and, like, suddenly a bunch of gears all clicked into place at once, and I think I figured out, like, pretty much the biggest twists coming up. And I'm hoping I'm right, because it's pretty cool, but at the same time, I wouldn't mind being surprised if I'm wrong. Thanks for the input. I pronounce it just like how Satan says his name should be pronounced in record, Ralph. <laughs> Sat Satin. Sat Satin. Are we the hub to someone's land? Uh. Sorta? I think I know what the deal with Iris is. I think I now that I know that So has a son, I think I know what his deal is. 
and I think in turn I know what's going on with a few other characters in the game. That's why he gave you the money to deal with it. There's no way he'll accept that child. The one I'm holding. It's okay. Iris is a Mega Man name too. Yes, it is. I told him that I won't cause any trouble. But could you take care of the baby? Just for a little bit. I'll be right back. Fine. But take this with you, just in case. What is it? It's a GPS transmitter. Oh. Just to be extra safe. I really don't think I'll need it. But okay, if it'll make you feel better. Oh, this is a tragedy. I don't know what Monica saw in So. She said he was kind and loyal, that he wanted to change Japan. Look at that lag. But Damn. I didn't understand any of it. He tried to convince her to break up with him so many times. She never listened, and it ended in tragedy. What happened next, you already know. Neither Renju or I saw it happen, so I don't know how much of this is accurate, but we could guess what happened. Wait, 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 so they think someone else killed her? Interesting. Was not expecting that. Lina Marcella Medina de Jurado, born 23 September 1933, was a Peruvian woman who became the youngest confirmed mother in history, giving birth at age 5 years, 7 months, and 21 days. That is messed up. Interesting fact, but also incredibly messed up. There's no one up there. Hitomi is sitting quietly. Who told you this? Renju told me. But you said he wasn't there. He heard some of this from the Kumakuras. Renju had connections with them. How did the Kumakuras know? So told them. What did So say to Monica? He told her to move overseas. He said he'd pay for everything. About Monica's killer. Date. You said that Monica was killed by So, right? But that's not true. Monica was killed by Saito Sejima, the son of So and his late wife. Saito. Saito was 12 at the time. 12? Yes. But why would a little boy do that? I don't know. I can't imagine. What happened after Monica's murder? So contacted his friend, the chairman of the Kumakuras. He asked him to dispose of the body and left the scene with Saito. The incident was 18 years ago. That means the chairman was Rohan, not Moma. Rohan went to the scene of the crime? Yes, with some of his men. Again. Neither Renju or I saw this. We were just waiting at my house for Monica to return. But she never came back. We tried to call her cell, but it didn't connect. But then, we saw movement on the GPS. The GPS Renju gave to Monica? Yes. At first, we thought she was on her way home. But we saw the GPS getting further and further away from the city. Renju and I got nervous. And we decided to follow it. Oof. What about the baby? We couldn't take the baby with us, so Renju gave the baby to the mob doctor he trusted. <laughs> 
Saito Sejima. Hmm. Those are Kumakura men. We didn't dare move. Understandably, Lena had a C-section and her son Geraldo was raised believing he was her brother until he was 10. Lena had a second son in 1972. Oof. We couldn't speak. We were barely breathing. We could only watch as it all unfolded. Wait, did I miss that previous line? What was it? We didn't dare move, okay. I knew what the hole was for, but I couldn't move. Couldn't do anything. I remember my heart beating so fast. Before long. We good here? Yeah. Cover her. Just a minute. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Beautiful. And that's how it started. <gasps> Yikes. The Kumakura people covered Monica's body, then left. Renju and I ran over and dug up the grave with a tree branch. What? We saw. So how... Okay, I understand all this, but where does Renju's wife come into the equation here? Would that do? Not yet. Why not? You don't know who those guys are. They would do anything to keep this hidden. I've seen it happen myself. I know what they're capable of. Anyway, think about it. Why would they do this? They thought Monica and her baby were going to be trouble. Monica's stomach was still pretty big. I don't think they know that she gave birth already. What do you think they'd do if they found out? They would take her and kill her too. And then they'd come for us. They'd make it look like we disappeared. All of us would be gone. Shit, dog. Renju convinced me. He knew more about the dirty underbelly of society than anyone. He knew when something couldn't be handled by the police. He said that they would do anything to kill the child. And I believed him. We had to protect Monica's baby. We had to. No matter what. Okay. I understand. I decided to trust him. Oof, yeah, that's stuff about Rohan. Uh, that's why we're not going to talk about it. We couldn't leave Monica's body in the forest. We cleaned her up and took her to the cold storage warehouse. And they really put her in there for for t 18 years or however long it was? This warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. My father runs it, but it's not in use right now. They're moving operations to a better area. They're actually looking for buyers right now. But don't worry. I'll take over the warehouse. Are you sure? Yes. Don't worry. I'll keep everyone out. Everyone but you, of course. I'll give you a key. You can come visit any time you want to see Monica. Also, what the... I'm still confused at who committed the murders in the other timeline. Was it Boss? I remember her killing So in one timeline. And what about Pewter? Oh, Pewter loves Renju. I guess that's kind of his whole story Monica, at this point. Don't worry about the baby. I'll protect her, no matter what. And don't worry about them, either. The people who did this to you, I will 
Never forgive them. I'm sorry, Monica. Sorry. I'm sorry. Monica. Renju, 19 years old. 19 years old and already involved in politics. Also, I love how the implication is that the decor in here never changed over the course of 18 years. Once we the aliens game of D20 Live where the party runs into a stasis storage container, one of the players asks the rest of the party, any of you guys got change of clothes on hand? Why? Because it seems there's always a naked girl in these things. Yeah, except in this case, the naked girl is already long dead. Renju is sitting down. What should we name her? I was thinking about her name. How about Iris? Iris? The goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology and the colored part of your eye. And the flower, too. Right. I thought it might have something to do with your name, Hitomi. <laughs> Not only that, it's also for Monica's name. The kanji for Monica uses the character for love. And Monica reminds me of Monaco, Japanese for I. So both names have something to do with the I. And I, which means love, will always be a part of Iris. The I pun game so in this uh, game is strong. Me. Don't you think it's nice? Iris. Iris. Iris! I really like it. Did you get the birth certificate? The mob doctor took care of everything. I have the birth certificate, and I even picked up a mother and baby book. It wasn't cheap, but you don't have to worry about it. Just submit the birth certificate, and everything will be taken care of. You look worried. I feel like... I'm somehow betraying Monica. Yeah, you are. Throw the baby in the ditch. That's way better. She was the one who gave birth. Soon, you won't even be able to think about that, because a war is about to begin. What? Between you and the baby, you won't get a good night's sleep for a long time. You might even start to resent Monica for all this. Really? Anyway, as soon as you submit the certificate, you will officially be her mother. Be sure to raise her responsibly. I'll help. Occasionally. Occasionally, huh? About Monica's killer. I don't really want to discuss this, but there's something you need to know. After talking to the Kumakura gang, I found out who killed Monica. So, son, Saito Sejima. How? Sai? Oh, it's got AI in it. Shit. Saito was only... 12 years old. Why? Why would a little boy do that? I don't know the motive, but I know it's true. So used his connections with the Kumakuras to cover up for his son. So what's the deal with Falco, then? Who did he kill? And all of the evidence of this scandal, of course. I'll never forgive them. There's still a lot of mysteries so, here I haven't unraveled yet. Son, or the Kumakuras. I feel the same way. But you can't think about revenge now. You and the baby can't lead a life like that. <laughs> Just bear with it for now. The opportunity will come. So wait until the right moment. Okay? And so my life with Iris began. Raising a child was much harder than I expected. Waking up in the middle of the night to change diapers or feed her, Iris wasn't a good sleeper. I had to sing her lullabies to put her to sleep. Honestly, it just sounds like Saturday at TFF. Um, man, that was wild. Not that, not that part. I mean, I, I didn't do anything regarding that. Trust me. Uh, but yeah, it was a great con. Fuck. If I had some more uh, tangible stories in mind, I would tell them. And I always needed to put her to bed so carefully. But not now. That's two story, two story beats now. Too many story beats. Before she'd start crying again. So I had to pick her up, sing her another lullaby, then put her back to bed. After doing this over and over, before I knew it, the morning sun would creep in through the windows. But even with all that, I cherished every single day. My hatred for those responsible never went away. But my hands were full, 
raising Iris. I devoted myself to her. I never thought about anything else. Eventually, my desire for revenge just faded away. Mama! Mama! Wolf! Wolf! Mama! Amwe! Amwe! Sweepy! Up? Mommy, I won race today! Is Mommy proud of me? Proud. Mommy, I Ooh. want to see Milky Moon again! Mommy, you are so good at dancing! Mommy, pancakes are done! Sorry, I burned it a little. Mommy, why can't I dance at the stores? I can't help it! My body dances on its own! Mommy, don't more people come to barbecues? How come it's always you and me? Hey, Mommy. How long will it take my bone to get better? I want to dance again with everybody. Hey, Mommy! Do you like my shirt? Look, we're matching! Mommy, thank you for everything! I love you more than anything in the whole wide world! Mommy, look! I drew it! <laughs> the Okonomiyaki War, huh? That was so fun! We should do it again! The food or the food fight? What's that bird in the corner? And again, who, where's, who is Falco? And what's his deal now? If he's not actually the, the, not the Zodiac Killer, the Cyclops Killer. Um, oh! I'm gonna have to say no to the latter, sweetie. It took forever to clean. But Uncle said he wants to do it again, too. Hey, Mommy. Yes? Are you gonna marry him? What, what are you talking about? As long as it's uncle, I'm all for it! I say go for it! I would always question myself. Could I keep living a lie? I had promised Monica that I would avenge her, but I couldn't work up the courage. And maybe Renju was exaggerating, but there's no statute of limitations for murder in Japan. If we showed Monica's body to the police, so would be punished by the law, and the Sejima's and Kumakura's crimes would be uncovered. But that would mean... Iris' secret would be uncovered as well. That's what I was really worried about. I didn't want Iris to know that So was her father. And even more than that, I didn't want her to know that I'm not her real mother. That's the real reason I've been silent for 18 years. I didn't want to lose Iris. But... Fate can be hmm. cruel. God used other means to take Iris from me. The brain tumor? In January, Iris suddenly collapsed. It was caused by a malignant tumor in her brain. There's nothing we can do. She only has a year to live at most. Shit, so even in this timeline that happens. That's what the doctor said. If you remember me telling you. But what I didn't tell you is that there was an experimental new treatment. It was... The sink machine. Some of the cutting edge nano machines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. They can even cure cancer. And they go beep, beep, beep. That's what mom said. Shit. Nano machines. Son. Nano machines could remove the tumor, but the procedure would be so expensive. With my salary, it wasn't something I could afford. I thought hard about it, about how I could get my hands on that kind of money, but I couldn't think of a solution. Time passed. Before I knew it, it was November. Iris's symptoms worsened. Her time was running out. I was starting to panic. I couldn't sit here and waste time while Iris... In any case, I had to get the money before it was too late. So I thought of a plan, a plan to blackmail Sol Tsujima. So I know your thoughts on the gameplay, and I'm wondering if you're still enjoying this game or just pushing through for either the stream's sake or to unravel the mysteries. I would say it's a little bit of everything. Uh, I definitely want to plow through the rest of this game and finish it, just to have it done, Two and to finish ago, the stream of it. On Saturday night, 
I called so and invited him to come to the warehouse. I definitely have issues with the Somniums and how they're handled. I think there's a little too much randomness to it, and it's just a matter of memorization after a point, because, like, you'll just mess up and then have to restart it. I think that the story is interesting, and I want to see where it goes, though I'm not enjoying it as much as the Zero Escape series. I don't want to definitively say that, though, because there's still quite a bit of this game left, probably. He agreed to come. After I hinted at what happened 18 years ago. So there's a lot, a lot to unpack here. Everything. Hiding behind the forklift until so came. Let's just say I got this game for half off and I don't regret it. Because it's definitely been worth the price of admission so far. When he finally arrived. He walked over to the workbench where I had laid Monica's body. He lifted the cloth and looked down. <sighs> he whimpered and stumbled back. Even he was phased, seeing a body he thought he got rid of 18 years ago. Not to mention it was the body of a woman he was in a relationship with. A woman his own son killed. But where is Saito? He reacted exactly as I expected he would. I had prepared a recording and sent it to his phone. I know what happened 18 years ago. Everything. I know who did it. And I know she had a baby inside her. You can probably guess what I'm going to say next. Be prepared to pay for my silence. I will tell you the exact amount later. And don't tell anyone about this. Not Saito. Not the Kumakuras. If you do anything even remotely suspect, I will go to the press with the truth. Understand? Damn, Hitomi. I told him to keep quiet and cut ties with the Kumakuras, even if he found out who I was. Without the Kumakura gang, he had no power over me. And there's no way he'd risk his political career not to go after me. I saw So put his phone back into his pocket and run out of the warehouse. came out of my hiding place to put Monica's body back. But then, something unexpected happened. So came back? No, Date came back. Oh, this is when Date found the body. I saw you, Date. Wait a minute, no, this was two weeks ago. I hid behind the forklift before you saw me, and when you were done looking around. Wait, I'm- I'm confused. How long ago did this take place? Uh, it can't be. Oh, right. Date did see So leave. Iris. Wait, I think I got my timelines mixed up here. Your mom was a strange woman. She told me you tried to kill your sister when you were three and she was less than a year old by smothering her face with Vaseline. Shit. I'm guessing that's obviously an exaggeration. Uh, wait, hold on. Log. No, I need to read what was in that pre- Shit. Alright. Monica EY, sex female, age 19, deceased, birthday March 28th. University student. Likes Satomi Renju, her daughter. Dislikes killing. Hobbies, studying international politics. Skills, ballroom dancing. Iris's real mother. After graduating from high school, she started seeing So Sejima and became pregnant with Iris. Just after giving birth, she went to meet So in the warehouse district and was never seen again. That just leaves two characters left, and I'm assuming one of them is Saito. I was losing consciousness. My head felt fuzzy. I, I couldn't gather my thoughts. I didn't know what to say. Instead, Iba did the talking. Iris is not Hitomi's daughter. Yeah, I don't care how advanced the tech is. I'm surprised the corpse crew remained intact in cold storage for nearly two decades. Yeah, it's kind of a, a mystery. But Iris's father is Sosajima. Her mother, Monica Iwai 
was killed 18 years ago by So's son, Saito. Where is Saito? Hitomi raised Iris since she was a baby. Hitomi showed unwavering love and compassion for her, just as much as her biological mother would have, if not more. I think I have a good idea of where Saito is, actually. But I can't be entirely sure of it. The only possible treatment was experimental nanotechnology. However, that treatment is restrictively expensive. Hitomi devised a plan to blackmail Sosajima for the money. The best way to establish the blackmail was to show him proof directly. That is why Hitomi created the scene with the corpse. She was the one who called So to the warehouse. On Sunday night, what Dante saw was what Hitomi had prepared for So. That is the summary of what we have learned so far. But there are some things I have yet to understand. Date, pull yourself together. Ask her questions. Date, snap out of it. I heard Iba call for me and came too. Continuing Sunday's events. You probably don't have to ask, but let me just be sure. After I left the warehouse, what did you do? I put Monica's body back onto the hood of the forklift. Then, I left. Makes sense. That's why the police didn't see the body when they arrived on the scene. Hmm. It makes perfect sense now that I have the facts. Iris did not resurrect. You simply mistook Monica for Iris. The body did not disappear. Hitomi moved it. Those were the events at the warehouse Sunday night. Simple. Elegant. Why did Rohan remove Monica's eye? I'm sorry. I have no idea. Because he has an eye fetish. Did you tell Renju about blackmailing So? No. I did not. Let's have a jelly bean real quick. This is my idea. There are still a few loose ends, but I believe I understand what occurred 18 years ago. However, none of this ties directly back to Shoko Nadami. Her murder was just four days ago. Is it connected? Or are these two separate cases? If there is a connection, it would be with Renju and So. We can think about it later. More importantly... I headed for the exit. Wait. Where are you going? To look for Iris, of course. But you have no idea where she is, right? Do you know something? Yes. How do you know where Iris At is? Around four o'clock today, I received a phone call. I don't know who it was. They were using a voice modulator. What did they say? I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. That's why I didn't tell you earlier. Renju. We don't know that for certain. It could be number 89. Either way, right. Iris is in danger right now. The voice asked for something else. He told me to go to a specified location with you. I'm guessing it's the warehouse where we synced with Iris the last time. With me? Yes. The culprit knows me? It must be Renju. Hmm. What location? I'm sorry, but this stops now. God damn it, Pewter! Date, run. What? Boss! Please do not worry. Damn it, man. 
I merely put her to sleep. What are you doing? My orders. They told us to halt our investigation. Oh, right, he's still working for Renju. Fuck. The boss was already going against orders as it is, which is why... Investigation? What investigation? Shoko or Iris? Neither. Wait, 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 wait. Halt our investigation. Boss was already going against orders. What investigation? Okay. Does it have to do with Shoko, Nagata, Nadami, or Iris Saga? Investigation of Monica's murder. Monica? But her case is all but completely solved. Yes, but only to us, right? If we say nothing, then her investigation is ongoing. So, Sejima. So threatened us, didn't he? I don't know. But you've been stripped of your authority on this investigation, as of five minutes ago. In fact, you are to be placed under house arrest. <sighs> what will you do, Date? Uh, probably some QTEs to get I out of here. You comply. Damn it, Sean! After we had such a fun weekend together. Iva, can you turn the power off? Easily. All right, get ready. Three, two, one. Uh, computer just control. Uh, whatever. You know, I, I shouldn't even bring it up. And in you go. Now tell me, where is the location? I can't tell you. Why not? If I told you, you'd go alone, wouldn't you? No shit. But if I don't go with you... All right, take me there. All right, I already know where we're going. It, there's only one possible place we could be going. It's the sink, the other sink machine. At the warehouse. Yep, abandoned factory. I know this place. It's the chemical plant that closed eight years ago. I knew that. How did I know that? The corners of my mind were aching. Date, I'm sorry, but this is going to be bad. What happened? Someone has begun to access my stored memory. They are attempting to wipe all the data. Everything I have accumulated over the last five years, including backups. Pewter? Is Pewter doing this? Almost definitely. He does have admin rights. Yeah, but he doesn't have locker rights. I summoned some ice, but that will only buy time. I have four hours at the most. After my ice is broken, you will be able to access logic, my core program. You will be able to destroy my mind. Why? It must be related to the orders they are receiving from the top. The higher ups clearly see you as a threat, Doctor. Nothing. Just... Alright. Now you know. So get moving. I'm counting on you, Date. Four hours. It's fine. That should be plenty of time. I gripped my evolver and got moving. I'll go in first. You wait here. Okay.
Oh, frig. Renju? And there's 89. Neat. The case remains unsolved. Wait, really? We're getting a lock? Uh, okay. So what does that mean exactly? The other route was locked now, so is it unlocked? Yeah, this got unlocked. Oh man, this is gonna be jarring. We have to jump like to the opposite storyline here. So this storyline over here. Uh in number 89, Somnium Date saw Hitomi getting shot by Rohan and then Boss? Why was Boss there? Date confronted Pewter to ask him about Boss's whereabouts. Pewter told Date that the corpse of Sosajima was found with his left eye torn out. It must have been the same killer that they were hunting. Date went to Boss's office to make her explain herself, but she was nowhere to be found. Instead, what Date and Aiba found in Boss's office was a video of her murdering Sosajima. And that was where this that was where that timeline ended. This timeline, everyone's dead, if I'm not mistaken. Ota while hunting the the culprit was live. Uh yeah, Iris and Oda were already dead, their bodies mutilated. So in this timeline, Renju, Shoko, Ota, and uh, Iris are already dead, and Sosajima was just killed by, uh, by Boss. If the video was to be believed, Boss killed So, and because So had, left his, had his left eye taken out, Boss must be the new Cyclops killer. Interesting. I wonder why this locks the other route. Jean I. My other question is, how does um, Mizuki file into all this? And what does this have to do with Shoko no Dami? Nice. So Sejima. Uh -huh. Boy. What's going on here? Why did Boss kill So? I could see Aiba in my AI sight. Boss's alibi for Shoko's murder. Shoko was killed around 5 p.m. Friday. What was Boss doing at that time? Unknown. Boss's alibi for Renju's murder. What about Saturday, 8 p.m.? The time Renju was killed? Similarly unknown. Boss's alibi for Iris and Ota's murder. Iris and Ota were killed at different times. I was watching the stream on the call with Boss. Only the first few minutes. The polar bear had not yet appeared on stream. It is possible that she made the call from somewhere off camera. Where was Boss's phone at the time? Check her cell records. She did not call from a mobile phone. She used a PC. Using a VPN service, she could have accessed her Abyss PC from the warehouse and made the call. Okay. I don't believe it, Boss. Boss is the new Cyclops killer? Shoko, Renju, Iris, Ota, So. Boss killed them all? The evidence makes that a likely possibility. So also had his left eye removed. Identical to Shoko, Renju, and Iris. World with left eye removed. Date, 
I know where the boss is. I have picked up her GPS. Where? She is now at the Sagan residence. Somewhere inside Hitomi's house. Oh no. What? I drew my gun from its holster and barged into the house. It told me. It told me. I called for her, but there was no reply. I didn't see boss either. Iva, call boss's phone. On it. So anyway, I started blasting. Kaname Date, you were under arrest for murder. What the hell? Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Weapon. Comply! Date, how could you steal my phone and murder Hitomi? Boss. I didn't kill anyone. I didn't kill anyone. Oh, I didn't need Please to say that. Believe me. They are not listening to you. Boss is the culprit. That woman right there is the new Cyclops killer. She's tricking you. They are well trained. They did not even flinch. Please, lower your weapons. You drop your guns, I'll drop mine. Date, do you really think these officers will listen to you? But well, what choice do I have? to tell me I don't know she was gone when I got here why did you come here why would I tell you <sighs> did you kill the five victims are you kidding me you're the new Cyclops killer what why do you think that hello Selena how are you doing you put a gun to so's head and pulled the trigger I saw it with my own eye shut up shut Stop lying! Boss, what the fuck are you doing? I could ask you the same thing. You killed Shoko Nadami, didn't you? That's ridiculous. What are you talking about? Don't lie. Fight? Oh, God. This is going nowhere. Are you going to fight? I have no choice. I recommend against it. You have zero chance of winning a firefight. Uh, you know, I fought an entire mob earlier. Well, and what can I do? Well, let me think. Hey, Date, there's a porno mag on the floor. Date, what is that on the kitchen table? Could it be your favorite thing? God damn it, that's exactly what happened. What? What? The magazine. You want me to look at a magazine now? Just look. It can't be. This is the stuff of legends. Only the most diehard fans have ever laid eyes on it. Wait, why why is that actually there though? Oh god, seizure warning. Whoa! Limited edition. You could have just said throw the flower. What? Dante, load evolver with fireball bullets. Shoot at the cloud. Why? Just do as I say, and fast. 
Yeah, it's there because Kaname Date is a fucking idiot. And it's just what he needed. I feel like it's there on purpose, though. Why would Hitomi have that? Alternatively, why would Boss leave that there next to her phone? What? What? Okay. That was a weird QTE. No, I, I sense foul play going on here. Also, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Press A not to die. Wait, really? She is probably just unconscious. Her right shoulder and left leg suffered damage, but she will live. A dust explosion, huh? Good thinking. Thank you. But you could have just had me throw the bag of flour. Yeah, exactly. That would have been too slow. To improve your reaction time, I had to improvise. Fireball covers a 20-foot radius, yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's have a look. Hey, this is just a cooking magazine. That lady was making curry on the front. In which Donnelly gets his... Aw, oh, damn it. Hey, in the other route, he got panties and a bra, so... He can't win them all. And he took a porno mag, too, from the magazine. Still unconscious. However, her brainwaves are stable. Sinking with her shouldn't be an issue. Pewter, wouldn't you want me to not do this? Date. Talking to her would be pointless. She looks pretty peaceful. You do know that, don't you? This game is usually good and you've 100%ed it already. Yeah, I'm aiming to finish it up soon, hopefully. I'm very, very close to what I hope would be the ending. Special Assault Team, a unit of the police department specialized for situations involving firearms or extreme risk, often called the Special Forces. Tokyo, Osaka, Hokkaido, Chiba, Kanagawa, Aichi, Fukuoka, and Okinawa all have their own SAT squads. SAT squads, excuse me. Estate Housewives Cooking, a cooking magazine popular among working class families. Date misunderstood this magazine to be a legendary erotic magazine prized by fans and collectors. So prized, in fact, that it sells for eye popping prices online. A phenomena dust explosion, a phenomenon which particles of a flammable substance scatter in the air rapidly combust with explosive force when a heat source is introduced. Coal dust explosions are the most notable example, but dust explosions of various substances such as sugar, wheat, soybean, tea, leather, plastic, silicon, magnesium, iron, and aluminum have been known to occur. I could finally make Japanese food like curry and stuff that calls for soy sauce and miso and bloodstain. Nice. I still don't play Bloodstained. It's gonna be a game for later. I decided to sync with her. Asking questions would just be wasting time. Besides, even if she was awake, I can't imagine she'd take too kindly to an interrogation. Hitomi still hasn't been found. I have a bad feeling about this. But there's a good chance Boss knows where she is. How would I get that information? Getting into her head would definitely be the quickest way. That's why I brought her here. I could see Pewter through the glass. Where is number 89? I had him put back behind bars. In Fuchu prison. That's right. I couldn't keep him here. It's so good. You better make peace with the risk of boring your streamed audience when you decide to grind for shards. Uh, I probably, if I ever stream it, I, I might not stream it. That's the other thing. Wait, he couldn't keep him here. Why? Oh, he just couldn't keep him here. How is boss? She has broken her right shoulder, as well as the fibula of her left leg. But her brain is perfectly healthy. You can see with her. Why are you so cooperative? Because I know that the boss is my enemy. I got the video from Iba. I processed it and found that it showed no sign of tampering or editing. Which means there can be no mistake. The boss shot and killed So Sejima. Yeah, I mentioned, um, this is, this is, uh, After oh, wait. Out his left eye, 
Wait, wait, wait. The odds of her being the culprit behind the other murder is very high. Or maybe she had accomplices. Either way, she's a criminal. That's why I am cooperating with you, Special Agent Date. I want it as bad as you do. The truth. It is time to sink. Yet again. Computer, are the preparations done? Ready anytime. Let's get started. I know. Five minutes. Six, minute or six minutes. I'll be back before time's up. Well then, let's begin. Let me tell you something. When I was at TFF, I got to hear Sean like actually do some auditions in real time. And my god, he has got some range. Also, a very fun person to be around. I greatly enjoyed his presence uh, this past weekend. I was like, I'm a huge fan of you, and you're also my friend, so it's kind of weird. Yeah, I went to TFF. I actually debuted my first suit there. Um, or my partial fursuit, which is now back at my friend's house to be converted back to a full fursuit. Time to loosen up! Do you always have to come in like that? It is of the utmost importance. At a time like this? Times like this are perfect. Anyway, it appears to be an abandoned factory of some kind. Oh, God, are we in the factory from the other timeline? What could boss be hiding here? Lordy, lordy. Oh, lordy. Somnium scan. Activate. No, but really, why are you doing that? Sinking in the refrain. Open the door to the boss's truth. Boss is hiding something. Reveal the truth of the new Cyclops serial killings. Wiggling her rump around like a panther. Door zero. A rusted metal door. Cool. Okay, so clearly I'm not meant to open that until the end. Can I go up here? Yes, I can. Door A. A door that looks like the anywhere door. Get it because Erica's both the voice of Panther and P5 and Iba. Yes. One second. Okay. It appears to be locked. Very much worth it. Where is the uh, the secret in this one? A rusted metal door. Break with lockpick, put pick in keyhole, investigate. Break the lock with that. Roger. I will try. Just this animation. It, it worked. All right, open it. Uh-oh. Oh, 
no, is that Hitomi? Oh, no, Shoko. A key? Several keys have fallen. One of them must be the right one. I do not have time to try all of them. Hopefully there's some kind of sign. Indeed. Mental lock two. What? Well, times t uh, Okay, I see what they're doing to me here. This is it. It could be related to what we saw beyond the door. Oh, I got nothing for that. It's a key. That's no good either. Dante, please, exercise a little more thought. Eyeball. Eyeball. Ice pick. Of course, I get it. Do you? Of course I do. Agent Date, you've got five minutes. It's a key. The ice pick is next to this key. It appears to be correct. That's what I said. The tag is labeled A. I was right. Give me some credit. That must mean you can use this key for something labeled A. Yes, thank you for zooming right in on the door for me. It's not the letter Q door, though. Yeah, try that. It opened. It's the door that starts with nine, or has nine written on it. Odd. Isn't this the third floor? What is going on here? Looks like the floors are connected in a weird way. Quite the troublesome dream. <sighs> There's door D over there? The only way I could go, though. Oh, door B. A door with B written on it. Time ticks down when you stand still, but only the only the fractions of the second on the right. So if I stand still, that twenty-one would start ticking down. Open, kick open, tackle. It worked. That might have been a little much. Hmm. This is the second floor, but it is clearly not the door I just opened. It's like a maze. I have to remember what door goes where. Oh, I'm already not liking where this is heading. I'm assuming I haven't hit the hard part yet.
Agent Date, you've got four minutes. A bookshelf? There is an obvious wire tied to it. Slide in the gap, investigate, push. Whoa, why does it take so long? Well, I mean, I have that. Roger. Clearly not the the right option. I suppose it isn't possible. Hmm. A bookshelf. enough to move it so you're too weak got it yes you're right I am too weak oh sorry I... no it's all right it is the truth I am just a lowly artificial intelligence a bookshelf there is an obvious wire tied to it This one, timings are vital. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the previous lock and just blast through this. Do the one that's only like five seconds or whatever. There we go. One second. Whoa! Doesn't look like this is. It could be. Re it's a. The ice pick. It appears to be. That's what I said. Wait, what's the speed up again here? The tag is labeled A. I was right. Give me some credit. That must mean you can use this key. Come on. Okay. Agent Don't Dante, waste the one. Five minutes. A door. Perhaps we can use the key I just picked up. Yeah, try that. It opened. Odd. Isn't looks like the f hmm. I mean, here's the thing. There's no, um... There's, there's no other path you could take. It's pretty straightforward, honestly. Aside from, uh... When I got to that shelf. Oh, I can't. I can't go any further down here. Oh, there's. Oh my God! There's so much stuff over here. Investigate. Other than the wire tied to it, it is a normal shelf. Also, 
It appears that there is a door behind it. To move the shelf, we need to... Okay... That goes over there by the steel drum, doesn't it? Yes, it does. An oil drum hung with wire. Lift, push, investigate. I'm assuming we're pushing it. Real good. Oh. Guess you should check that door. No, my one second thing. Shit. Yeah, I fucked up. The, the D door. It is locked. Oh, hey. What? Again, I'm not super into the trial and error of this game. Because this is this one. Bosses, early concepts. I like the middle one. I have it with some mannequins. So there's one more sink over in the other route. And this is the end of this route. So what's that last one, then? Door E. Oh, good. Thank God. But I have to open that door down there, right? Oh, wait. Oh, door E. Okay, never mind. Uh, it's time to open this door, right? It's door two. Okay. Back in it. Renju? Yep. Knew it. After he already had Shoko's eyeball shoved down his throat. This is like the worst ending route. Forty-five. What? It's a key with a watch beside it. Oh, the time. The hands indicate three forty-five. This is not it. Is the time on the clock relevant? It would be quite the simple gimmick. Or they just want us to think that. True. You have less than two minutes. Hurry. Wait, where are the other keys? Five o'clock. Wait, what time? Shit. Renju was found dead at eight o'clock. It's a key with a what? The hands indicate eight o'clock. Is this the correct answer? Saturday night at 8 matches Renju's estimated time of death. D 
is written on the tab. Let's go, Date. D for Date. D for D Dog. D for Dudley. D door. I will. Yeah, try. It opened. Dead duders. <laughs> Was to activate one more piece to go. A broken pipe. Steam is leaking off. Steam leaks quite often. Cover. You want me to cover this hot hole? Yeah. You're making me do some dangerous things. Perhaps that will work. Well, I was not even looking at it. This won't be easy to cover. It's a broken pipe. Kick or smell? Kick it. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's just as I calculated. You were surprised, admit it. A rusted metal door. Most of the ice is gone now. I think I can open this door. It's gonna be Iris. Oda was the last one killed. It's gonna be gruesome. Unless they spared us that it, monstrosity. Oof. Sinking in the sight! Has control panel written on the tab. Control panel? The one right there? Oh, no split here. Cool. This is a one way route. Insert key. Ooh. Is there a cheaper thing I could blow that times 10 on? That's gonna leave me with very little time. Oh yeah, investigate. This of, I believe this can Rows of monitors and buttons. I could spare five seconds. I don't need to use this. Rows of monit There. Oh. So. Sejima. I see. If we move the scaffold, a new route appears. Okay, let's move it. Let's move it. Move it. Move it. Uh. Rows of monit. Oh, I see. Sleep, rotate, press switch. Do you want the order of the commands? Oh, uh, this is a specific order, huh? Oh! I'll figure it out. Press switch, then rotate key, probably. Button is indeed the one needed to move the scaffold, but huh. there might be another step we have to do first. Rose of 
Sleep? On top of the control desk? That way you can push all of them at the same time, right? Are you insane? Don't you know? The line between insanity and genius is razor thin. Even still, you are firmly on the insane side. Whatever, just try it. If I must. Interesting. That barely lowered. How's it looking from your side? The switches are precisely aligned with the pressure points on my back. Can I stay here a little longer? I was clearly insane, just put it back. So, fun fact, uh, <laughs> Sean and I went back to the airport on Monday, I was, I, I missed, or I missed the boarding window for my flight by, like, five minutes. They were like, nope, sorry, you need to be here 45 minutes before the flight starts, and you're here 40 minutes early, and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? So, I ran into Sean again before he got on his flight, and we were like, uh, I have to wait here till 6 p.m.? So, we ended up having lunch together and having a nice long talk about voice acting and stuff, and, and it was pretty cool. I enjoyed spending time with them. I guess we're gonna rotate the key. Wait, what? Okay. Shrunk. Yeah, that makes sense. Set the blind man to the fly. To the deaf mute. Rose of I don't know. Rotate key. It's just like sex. Push the switch, rotate the key. It extended. Yeah, my no, I mean the, it was still a mess. Cause I had to I I was supposed to get on the flight at like noon. And, uh, it, and I ended up having to wait until like 6 p.m. to go home. I, I didn't get home till midnight. Because there's an hour time difference between here and, uh, and Texas. Just need to open the letter B door. Oh, that's not the right spot. Speaking of him, <laughs> there he is. Uh, shit. Where am I going now? Um, I gotta get to door B. I think. Wait. Yeah, those two doors go to the same spot, so that's not gonna lead me anywhere. No door there. B is up here. Let's see. Uh, Doors. Door B. Door B. Hey, you're out 
Oh, come on, really? Door F. This is the first time we've seen it. Bullshit. That was a load of horse shit. Switch rotate key. Uh. Yeah, this Somnium is pretty great. It's shrunk. Oh. I see. Less than one minute. Hurry. Uh. Do it. Do it. B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B go 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 B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B This way Down the steppies Door Need that Sloop Use the one tenth on the kick door, yeah. Door C prime. Wait, no. No 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 no, we don't wanna go down there. It's fuck. Wait, what? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Isn't door B supposed to be here? What the f Oh god damn it! Did I mess something up again? C then B. Door C. This is too tight. I don't like this. I'm being punished for no reason. We've been here. That big door. If we can see what's in there, we'll figure something out. Ladder one floor. A power cord. It is discharging. Can I pull this off or am I fucked? Go to the ladder. Oh, okay. An eye. All right, I'm just gonna f fuck it. Just tell me what I'm supposed to do with this one, because I clearly don't have the chops to to figure it out. Tackle. Ready. You know, I guess I should have figured that'd be the case, but... This 
Insomnium is awfully dangerous. Hey, that door. Maybe we can open that one now. Check it out. Date, you're out of time. A power cord. No, don't I don't care about the power cord. Door four. Arrested. I needed another one, huh? I'm going to open it. God damn it, that means I have to redo this one too. I'll probably redo Hitomi's and this one off stream so I can get those files. And then finish it tomorrow. Mm, I'm not happy about that. All of them are going to be boss, right? That's... Iba, return to the control room on the third floor. At once. We have no time. Yeah, I technically did it, but I didn't do it with enough time because I needed another one second timer. in order to, to bust that last door without running out of it. What's behind door zero? What? But who killed Renju then? Is it gonna be Oda? Oh my god. It was Iris. Oh my fucking god. I. So that means Oda killed Iris. Oh no, it was Sosajima. And then, who killed Oda? Wait, 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 wait. Boss. What the hell is going on? So wait, who killed Oda? Hey, what are you doing? Six minutes are up. Wait, wait, Hitomi is. Date, you can't go any longer. Four shut down. No. Pewter, you're, you're such a buzzkill. Maybe I wanted to be in boss's body, damn it. By the way, I, I don't without even hitting that plot point. Without even hitting that plot point, I already know that there's gonna be some bullshit with that going on. And I think I already know what it is too. E high. Oh. Three fourteen AM. I took a look around your head, and I discovered something. Something about the new Cyclops serial killings. Apart from Ota, there are four victims. Shoko Nadami, Renju Okiura, Iris Saga. So Sejima, who was responsible for these murders? Shoko was stabbed by Renju with an ice pick. Renju was strangled to death by Iris. So cut open Iris's body, but who shot So? It was you. In other words, all of these murders were committed by different people. There wasn't just one killer. That's how it looks on the surface, anyway. But, that's not the truth, is it? There's only one culprit, one person, and that person is... You. Yes, you. The person in front of me right now. You're blaming the commander of Abyss for this? No, not boss. The person inside boss's head. <laughs> 
Can you at least try to make sense? All right, I'll explain. You know about the abandoned chemical plant in Kabasaki? Date, how do you know about that? There's a prototype sink machine there. Let, let me just remember it for a second. There we go. Device to swap around bodies one by one. In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. Unknown, yeah, I wonder who's saying that. Mind, consciousness, memory, they are traded. Switched. Slurp. I don't know where it started, but at some point, you got into Shoko's brain. Then, you got into Renju's. Wait, why were you in Shoko's brain, though? You got rid of Shoko's body. After Renju was Iris. You strangled Renju using Iris. After that, into So. Who you used to kill Iris and Ota at the cult storage warehouse. So Ota was just a casualty in all this. And then you jumped to Boss's body. Now, you're in Boss's body. Oh, but that means that Boss is dead. Because Boss was in So's body. So wait. When Shoko Nodami was killed, that was actually Renju. When Renju was killed, that was actually Iris. When Iris was killed, that was actually Sosajima. And when Sosajima was killed, that was actually Boss. Inside her head. The question is, who took over Shoko? And what happened to Shoko's mind? I see. If you know that much, then I have nothing left to hide. Yes. I am the culprit behind the new Cyclops serial killings. I guess you can call me the new Cyclops killer. Is it 89? Falco? Or maybe... Maybe it's Saito. Who was inside the Iris during the interrogation Sunday? That was me. You imitate her well. From the way you talked in your body language, it was like the real Iris. Earlier, too. You almost had me fooled. Your imitation of Boss was... perfect. Yes, there's a reason for that. Let me define some terms first. A person's memory and sense of self. Let's call that... personality. Okay, but before we go any further here, can I just point out again that... Date should not know about the sink machine or the body swapping in this timeline? It isn't quite the right word, but... It'll suffice. Because this clearly doesn't run by zero escape rules. Now, transferring that personality into someone else's brain, let's call that parasitism. The one transferring is the parasite, the one being transferred into is the host. Are you with me so far? Moving on. Even after the personality exchange is complete, the host's memory isn't completely lost. About... 1% remains in the brain, so a parasite could use that 1% to imitate the language and behavior of the host. That's how I knew about the warehouse and Sunfish Pocket, by the way. Thanks to Renju and Iris's remaining memories. But do they lose those memories when they get forced into the new body? I'm telling you, it was me. Why are you making me repeat myself? That means the Somnium I entered on Sunday. That's right. It was me. How? How does he know about the original Cyclops killer? And something else was troubling me. What's going on here? Why'd he see me? Get, give me the... Who the hell are you? Saito. Saito Fuck. Sejima. I had a feeling. Congressman Sejima's son. What? I researched Saito thoroughly, but I cannot find any images of him on the internet. Well, that completely destroys one of my theories. 
He is listed on the family register, but I cannot find any photographs. So where's Saito? So that means Shoko Nodami was in Saito's body. Give me the details of each crime. Before I do, there's something I want to hear from you. How did you know about the prototype sync machine? Uh, 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 ooh, uh. Not only that, you also seem to know what the sync machine is truly capable of. My theory was that Saito Sejima was somehow Date. And that the reason Date lost his memories is because something got fucked up during a body swap. That's why he had. Because here's the thing Date has some sort of memory of Iris in the past. And if not Iris, then Monica. So, what the hell's going on there? Why is that? That's. Regaining your memories, are you? Human memory is fractal. If you retain even a single piece of it, it's possible to recreate the whole thing. Oh. Date knew about the warehouse and the sink machine in this timeline. Because his body was swapped and he probably lost his memories. And now he's starting to remember. There's no parallel timeline. He's just remembering what he experienced before this game. Pieces of memories are like roots that grow into every corner of the brain. Gradually, slowly. I imagine the same thing is happening in your brain right now. A fractal is a figure with self-similarity. Allow me to explain. See this? Whichever fragment you cut, you will see a similar shape. Like a menger sponge or a menger sponge, whatever it's called. The whole is made up of its similar parts. This is called a fractal figure. Memories in the brain are similar. That is what he is explaining. He is claiming that from a few pieces, you can rebuild the memory. I knew about the prototype from regaining my memory. Is that right? No, that's not it. Parallel worlds exist. Wait, so maybe the parallel world does exist? Sorry. Sorry, I was just speeding through something. Her eyes are clouded and dark. Continue. Fine. I still have time. Time? You'll see. So, where do you want me to start? It's just past midnight on Tuesday. Shoko was killed on Friday. If we think of that as day one, today is day five. What was Saito doing during these days? I decided to ask him. Day one, Friday. Like you guessed, my personality was in Shoko, Renju's ex-wife. You missed two hours of stuff. What happened? Um, you missed... Oh, wow, it is... Oh, my God, it has been two hours. Holy shit. Um... Yeah, body swapping. If you were here for the last stream two weeks ago, uh, we found out that if you use the sink machine too long, there's body swapping that could happen. And uh, Congressman Sejima has a son who turns out to be a big serial killer who swaps bodies with people, then kills them. That made calling Renju easy. Which means boss is dead in this timeline. The only person we don't know for sure that's dead at this point is Shoko Nodami. Because it's applied that her body, her mind is in a different body. I need to talk to you about something. He came over without question. I think it was around 4 p.m. I had him meet me at the chemical plant. I made Renju go to sleep. Synced. Switched personalities. And then stabbed Shoko's discarded body with an ice pick. But it's not discarded. Renju was in there. I took Shoko to Bloom Park by car, using the old abandoned subway line. Must have been around 8 p.m. by the time I was finished. I tied up Shoko to one of the merry-go-round horses. 
After that, I used Renju's phone to send a Nile message to Mizuki. Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Then, I just waited for Mizuki to arrive. Day two on Saturday. Until next Saturday evening, my personality was inside Renju. My next target was Iris. I knew she would be suspicious if I asked her to come to Kawasaki, so I asked her to come to Sunfish Pocket first. I called her a little before 5 p.m., and she arrived just after 6. I greeted her, then convinced her to come with me. That's when Ota saw us. Anyway. I put her in the car, then headed to the chemical plant. On the way, I made her take a sleeping pill. I knew she might run once she saw where we were going. It was around 7 p.m. when I got there, and I wasted no time switching bodies. After getting Iris's body, I used a rolled up apron to strangle Renju to death. Then I put his body in an empty oil drum I had prepared earlier. I put that in the trunk of the car, then headed to Sunfish Pocket. But then, something I didn't anticipate happened. Waiting for the signal in Akiba, someone knocked on the window of the car. It was Ota. He asked me something about being able to drive. He was surprised, to say the least. I didn't have time to waste on him, but... I couldn't risk him finding the oil drum in the trunk. Plus, if word got around that Renji's car was spotted driving around Akiba, that would foil my plans. So, I came up with a lie. I told him that I didn't have a license, so he had to keep it a secret. That's what that thing referred to in Ota's Nile messages, by the way. And just like that, I managed to escape a bad situation and headed to Sunfish Pocket as planned. The rest went exactly as you already figured out. Why did you put Shoko's on? Well, I guess... Day three. Sunday morning, I had a recording or some such thing scheduled. Oh, I am, of course, referring to Iris. I didn't want to draw suspicion, so... I decided to attend, as planned. I went to Lemniscate and performed my job. And when I left, I ran into you, Date. To be honest, I was a little surprised. Just the previous night, I was a parasite in the body of Renju. Oh. I didn't think Ota had seen me. So, of course, I didn't expect to see you there so soon. You were on to me, but there was nothing I could do about that. If I ran, it would only increase your suspicion. So I decided to play my role. The interrogation began around 8.20 p.m., is that right? I gotta admit, I'm, I'm really, really digging this twist. Then you sinked into my mind. But you didn't get what you were looking for, did you? As a result, you had no choice but to release me. I didn't want to go home right away. I knew there might be police waiting for me. That would make it difficult to sneak out at night. And that would put my plan in jeopardy. So I asked you to take me to Marble. I tried to find an opportunity to run, but then another unexpected event occurred. Fucking Oda. I got a Nile message from Ota. Wow, he really was just a tool in all this. So I told him I needed his help and to meet me at Marble. 
He did as I instructed him to do. After that, I got into the van with Ota. But because his presence was unnecessary, I asked him to stop at a convenience store to buy me something to drink. When he was gone, I took his car and drove to my parents' house where I used to live. Yes, the Sejima residence. Of course, I knew I couldn't just walk up and ring the doorbell. Wait, hold on. Okay, so Iris, in quotation marks, took the car and drove it away. That's why he got locked out with, uh, when he went to the convenience store. Hello, Father. It's been a long time. I was also in Iris's body at the time. I mean that but I thought I could use that to my advantage. That technically isn't untrue. Iris is uh, her daughter his daughter. So I pushed on the intercom and sure enough, my dad invited me inside. I told him this. I want you to come with me. There's something I need to show you. He was quiet for a while but eventually agreed and got into the van with me. We arrived at the prototype sync machine around 11.50 p.m. By the time I was in the body of Sosajima, it was a new day. Continue. This was yesterday, early Monday morning, past midnight. In my new body, I drugged Iris, put her in the van, and drove to a new location. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I arrived around 1, then prepared for the show for a couple hours. Of course, when I say show, I mean dismembering Iris. Because of the temperature in the warehouse, it took longer than I expected to prepare, but... Well, you saw it in the video. Of course, I didn't anticipate Ota would show up. What does that make it? Three times that brat has showed up unexpectedly? That annoyed me to no end, and I took that out on him. Dressing him up in the polar bear was a impromptu plan on my part. I didn't mean to make you think he was the killer. I just wanted to throw a wrench into the investigation. It didn't matter if you found out or not. This all happened Monday morning. I left the warehouse around 3.30 a.m. There isn't much to talk about on Monday. Before noon, I used my old man's body to call this one. Boss. You might not know this, but she and my father go back about six years. The two shared a terrible secret. Hinting at that was enough to get the boss to come running to me immediately. I injected her with a sedative, then brought her body to the chemical plant. The hippest plant around. The hottest nightclub. Swap bodies with your lover. I synced with her. Exchanged our bodies. And after blowing my father's brains out, I cut his body into pieces. But see, you're... I'm confused because you're talking as if that was him still in the body. Wouldn't his body have gone into Iris's or is that something I'm missing here? I stuffed the meat into a vase I brought earlier then drove back to my house. It's just a bit of weird speak, that is what happened. Okay, so boss is dead. Saito spoke with grace and no sign of remorse. I was trying to keep my anger from boiling over and kept asking him questions.
Why did you take out your victim's eyes? You know all about the prototype sync machine, don't you? That should explain it. Also, I just realized he heard the phrase parallel worlds in this timeline when they were talking about why he knew about it. So maybe it does exist? I knew. The prototype sync machine differed from the one at Abyss of a few key ways. Oh, he read about it, but he didn't say anything in the game. The machine at Abyss is more sophisticated, excuse me. Nano cables from the sinker gear enter through the gap between the eyeball and the socket. They then travel down the optic nerve canal to the brain. But the prototype sync machine isn't so advanced. To perform a sync, you need to remove the left eye manually. The subject and the sinker have to remove their eye from the socket, otherwise the cables cannot enter the brain. Of course, even with the eye removed, severing the connection to the brain isn't necessary. The extracted eyeball still has the optic nerve and blood vessels connected. After a sink, the eye is supposed to be replaced back into the socket. It's supposed to be safe. Side effects are rare. Unless the nerve or blood vessels are damaged somehow, replacing the eyeball isn't too difficult. We had a whole story about that earlier, about the eyeball popping out. Of course, I don't really care about eyes. I mean, you have both of them now. I don't need them. All I cared about was exchanging bodies with the sink. And for that, I needed to remove the left eye. Why didn't you just put the eyes back when you were done? That's obvious. Once I was finished transferring into a new body, the old one was of no concern to me. Why would I bother replacing the eye? Oh man, so it's implied that he gouged his own eye out four times to do this. I was just going to get rid of it anyway. Where are the eyeballs that you removed? Oh, I fed them to the next victim. Shoko's is in Renju. Yep, we knew that. Renju's is an iris. Iris's is in dad. Dad's is in boss. Oh, so you're you actually just eat them? Oh my god, that's so fucked. Their stomachs, I mean. You sick bastard. Yes, I ate them immediately after exchanging personalities. Oh. How horrible. Oh. Oh, that's just squishy, squishy in general. What's your motive? Homicide is my hobby. I have a tenacity for it. What can I say? You killed Monica. Of course, it was also necessary to make sure people kept their mouths shut. If I took over someone's body, they would know about my crimes. See, it's more fucked up when you think about, like, the fact that the person doing all this stuff is doing it to themselves. Saito gouged his own eyeball out with each body. And then he ate the eyeball when he switched into the new body. He didn't stuff it down a dead person's throat. He didn't kill someone else for their eyeball. He did it to himself and then killed the bodies afterwards. I couldn't risk them reporting me, so I killed them. It was also a matter of revenge against you. It's Here we go. Personal. That's why I chose people close to you as targets. Well, except for my father, of course. That was personal to me. But don't ask. It's embarrassing. So Date isn't related to Sosajima. Revenge against me? This series of murders was like a journey for me. You know, traveling through bodies to finally reach the end. That's the thing about traveling. You always wind up in the same place, don't you? Where do you think that is? Your home. A trip is only complete once you return home. The same goes for me. When I return home, my travels will come to an end. So I'll be needing it back. My body. I figured as much. What? So who is Date then? You stole my body. You took it from me six years ago. That's why I want revenge. What are you talking about? You have no idea what it was like inside my own head. I miss it. I miss my brain, Date. 
No matter how many people I killed, it never worked. I never felt happy. I feel miserable. You... you mean... He was born with a brain dysfunction. Due to damage to the posterior pituitary gland, he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. Oh, that's right. My old body. How are you finding it, Date? This body is yours? That's what I've been telling you! But I don't have the same oxytocin deficiency you did. That is because I regularly supplement it. And that's what the dosage shit was. But why? They must have increased your dosage too much. No, but the person who had this disorder was number 89. The original Cyclops killer. That is what I believed as well. But we must have misunderstood. It was Saito. Number 89 was Falco. Computer did not specify who exactly was imprisoned. Only that one of the original culprits responsible was currently imprisoned. Yeah, exactly. Who is Date then? There, there's only one person I could think that's not present here, and that's Shoko, but that makes no sense. That's strange. That would mean number 89 is the previous chairman, Rohan. That must be it. Rohan is a parasite inside number 89's brain. Oh, God. So... You must have known that. So who was in Rohan's body when he died? No way. I was confused. I didn't understand any of it. Let us determine the specifics using Saito as our starting point. Whose brain was he in before Boss? So Sejima. And before So? Iris. And before that, Renju. And before that, Shoko. So my theories weren't too and far off. Shoko? Himself? Whose body were you in before Shoko? I was a parasite inside Rohan's brain six years ago until last year. Ah. Uh. I'd lost most of my memories. I was a shell of a man. They housed me in a special hospital. But I still had those fragments of my mind left. Just as I explained earlier. From a single piece, you can recreate the whole. I took my time, slowly regaining my memories. One year ago, I remembered everything. I left the hospital and immediately sought out Shoko Nadami. So you swapped bodies into Shoko Nodami. I got her body, and she in Rohan's. Then I pushed her off the cl the top of the building. When she saw herself in the mirror, she lost her mind. She was confused, panicking, running up the emergency staircase, and then... Committed suicide. That's why Rohan committed suicide. After that, I spent a year perfecting my plan using Shoko's body. I spied on you all this time. But who? Who's number 89 then? That's why I know everything about you. Who were you before, Rohan? In there, in that body you are operating right now, in that skull. My personality lived there. Wait, hold on. So he's... Wait, Date's Rohan? If what you're saying is true, what about my personality? It was in Rohan. I'm not Rohan! Correct. It is just as he explained earlier. Number 89 was in Rohan's body. In other words... You're 89. That's... my real... But then who's in 89's body? Rohan. Oh.
I had a feeling it was going to be something like that. So Date is the original Cyclops killer. Even though Boss lied about it. Keep talking. Sorry, but time's up. I want my body back. It's quite simple. Sink with me and stay inside my mind for more than six minutes. And if I refuse? <laughs> I know that you won't. I know it. Huh? Date, look! This is streaming live! Oh, fuck. We're just straight up dynamiting people now. Damn you! If you give me back my body, I will give you the location. Oh, and of course, it isn't the chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. Rohan89 was switch number one. Okay, so they just swapped, and then later, Saito and his original body synced with me, Rohan. Wait, no. Saito in his original body. Okay, wait, 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 yes, that's Date. Okay, alright, it makes sense now. Um, I think it mostly makes sense. Iba, where's the source? It is being routed through numerous IPs. I cannot identify the source. Computer, contact headquarters, now! Got it! Now, what will you do? Will you agree to my request? Base Saito. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. Doctor, I'm her. Don't you care about what happens to her? Do you understand the gravity of this situation? A bomb is strapped to her body. Maybe you're just cold hearted. Yeah, save. I probably should save. Saito. Saito Sajima, sex male, age 30, birthday March 1st. Wait, so. I'm so confused. So knew he switched bodies, though, because So said he hates Date, and he knew he looked like Saito. Profession MPO Red Pre NPO representative, likes fireworks, dislikes humans, hobbies, murder, skills, stabbing, strangling, killing, shooting. Overview. Saito is Sosajima's son. His mother died giving birth to him. Born with a brain dysfunction that left him unable to properly secrete oxytocin. Oxytocin? Tocin? There we go, oxytocin. He can only feel pleasure from murder. His birthday was a week ago. So who is this, then? Agree, no matter how many times you demanded it of me, I refused again and again. Wow. I gotta admit, that's the least brutal death of this entire game. And when I saw it, I understood. Boss's body rolled into the corner of the room. I didn't want to think anymore. Anything. Nothing. I closed my eyes and ran a palm across my face. I could taste blood. Bad end. Oxytocin is a hormone secreted by the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland. I think we've had this conversation. Pewter explained this. A PSI structure at the base of the sprain. It's sometimes known as the cuddle hormone or the love hormone because it's released when people snuggle up to or bond socially. Oddly enough, exactly what I was doing with Pewter last weekend. You know, I'm actually going to re-experience all that because um, I missed those other dialogue options at the beginning and I want to read them. How much, when I finish this route, how much longer is the game? Like another, like, three, four hours? Because I definitely don't want to go much longer tonight. I'm probably going to finish this tomorrow.
Yeah, I killed Saito. Complete this route tonight. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to complete this tonight, but the uh, the final route is probably going to be tomorrow. If it's not that long, I might just do another game afterwards. But tomorrow's going to be my last night stream for a couple weeks due to... Uh, well, not counting Sundays and Mondays for the next two weeks. Or I guess just for the next week. But uh, during the week, for uh, next week and the week after, I'm probably going to be uh, doing morning streams. Because I'm going to be working from like 1.30 till 10 o'clock at night. And that won't leave me enough time to get home and start streaming. I took a look around your head, and I discovered... All right, I forgot their speed skip. No, it isn't. No, that's not it. It's not Iris. Yeah, no, that's that's exactly what I said. <laughs> that's that's exactly what I was uh, saying on uh, Twitter earlier. Yeah, yeah, he was my roommate at TFF. My my hotel mate, one of my hotel mates. Yeah, he's a cool dude. He was he was one of the people I spent the weekend with, and it was really nice, and he was really cool, and I uh, look forward to seeing him again someday. Hopefully in something professional, because he's definitely an inspiration for me. Uh, yada yada yada. I gush about him a lot, and I probably shouldn't. Eh, come on, whip. Are we still waiting for loads here? Yeah, we are. Yeah, this is the Switch version. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Awkward silences. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, here we go. Continue. Why didn't the sink victim? Why didn't the sink victims resist after waking? This is the this is the juicy the juicy meat I want. 
prototype sync machine has a special feature. It administers a strong dose of sedatives to the original body and a stimulant to the host after a sync. Why? Wait, why? Was the sync, the prototype sync machine made to swap bodies maliciously? That kept them docile. Why did you display the bodies the way you did? To harass you. I wanted to bring out the hatred in you. That's why I called Mizuki to Bloom Park. That's why I streamed Iris's murder. Because they were important to you, weren't they? I wanted you to feel cornered, trapped. I wanted to punish you, Konami Date. I mean, this game escalated pretty quickly. But still... Why doesn't Date have memories of him being 89? Or, or were they just fucked up? Because of all the body swapping? Glad you're able to pop in for just a bit. I'm sorry that the last five minutes of this have just been me holding down two buttons, waiting for scenes to load. Uh, d come back tomorrow. You can see the finale of this, hopefully. Time to obey him. Dante! See? I knew you wouldn't refuse. I know you well. Don't I, Dante? I'm probably gonna start around the same time, probably midnight, Eastern Standard. If I finish this early, I'll probably do another game. I'll probably go back to Shovel Knight for a bit. Shovel Knight Showdown. I think um when I start doing morning streams the next week, I'm gonna finally do uh, Mega Man eleven. It's because I've been sitting on that game for a while. Oh, what's with these clothes? They're terrible. <laughs> I got it all back! Hey, where's Hitomi? All right, I'll tell you as promised. Boss's house. However, it might be too late by now. What? Fucker. Return my body and I'll tell you the location. That's what I said. I didn't lie. I kept my promise. You bastard! <sighs> You're the one who injured that body. It's your own fault, really. Damn it. 
Abyssinia. Yeah, can't Iba just refuse to help Saito? Yep, exactly. <laughs> Date, are you all right? I got tits. I mean, that's kind of his dream. Iba's voice barely resonated. My eyesight was hazy. A heap of broken images. Sweat was building on my palms. Oh wait, shouldn't I be giving him DC Douglas's voice? It felt like my breath was closing up and I was struggling for- It felt like my throat was- It felt like my throat was closing up and I was struggling for breath. In my ears, the rushing of blood of my heartbeat was the only sound. Everyone's dead. Oh, he still hears himself in Date voice. Okay. Too traumatized to be horny. Shoko, Renju, Iris, Ota, Hitomi, Boss. The flesh remains, the mind lost. I couldn't do anything. Saito had me right where he wanted me. Nothing. Nothing. Why did 89 swap bodies with Saito in the first place? Parallel worlds exist. The words suddenly echoed in my head. I couldn't remember who, or where, or why, but I thought that if there were really such a world, then me, in that world, I is another. Could I have had a better future? I prayed that I could. I felt my consciousness sink into a black abyss. Are we really- is that really gonna be the end? That is, isn't it? Shit. I mean, Pewter would have probably saved him. That's definitely the, uh... That's definitely the, um... The, like the main bad ending of the game. So we really are just operating on zero escape rules here, huh? We've got the, the morphogenetic field. Uh, it's a little early, but I might just end the stream here if, if all we've got left now is the final route. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll try to blast through those two sinks again. I really don't want to, though. I want to do that on stream, because it's just going to be me getting frustrated. And if there's one thing we don't need on stream, uh, it's me being frustrated. So I'll get those two things tomorrow. Or tonight, off stream, and I'll do the rest tomorrow. Honestly, I could use a little time after the stream anyway. I had stuff, that, stuff I need to do. I have to prepare for something pretty important tomorrow morning, actually, that I have to do when I wake up. It's nearly 3 a.m., yeah. off now yourself. Yeah, it's a good idea. Just gonna sit through the credits, drag the stream out a few minutes. Oh, actually, wait, because there's usually another scene afterwards. So I'm not gonna wait uh, immediately. I don't know what I'm saying. I like trip over my words when I just let myself think. 
Not good. Gotta work on that. Absolutely have to work on that. Anyway, uh, I should probably just go over things real quick. Tomorrow, stream, finish this game. After that, the next two weeks, Tuesday through Friday, I'm gonna be working later. Um, 1.30 p.m. to 10. Well, I still could technically do a night stream, I'm not gonna bother because it's gonna be too much trouble. I'll probably do morning streams from like 9 till like 11.30. Probably bring back a uh, ring fit finally since I'll be up that early and once I go back to my normal schedule I'll try to get the ring fit in at 9 a.m. Uh, daily Not daily, but like a couple times a week and uh, I'll probably do Mega Man 11 yet next and Then uh, after those two weeks are over Animal Crossing and I'll probably be streaming that for a bit and probably move on to something else Annihilation route and oh, there wasn't anything here yeah, that was the the baddest of bad endings. So let's see. Just to just to wrap, just to uh, get things in the right frame of mind here. In this timeline, only Shoko Nodami is dead. Renju has his eyeball removed and is assumingly not dead yet. And that's all we have to worry about, really. Everyone died. The time for exposition has passed. Yeah. Let's just go here real quick. But here... Okay, here's the other question. Why is Pewter evil on this route? Why is he uh, attempting to stop us? There, there's got to be more to it than just his relation to, Re to Renju. Oh, shit. No, no, no. I didn't want to do that. Abandon. Abandon ship. We'll, get, we'll, we'll come back to that. Why can't it be the 20th? I want to play you so much. Also, I got this because it was on sale for two bucks. Uh, I haven't played it, but it looks pretty interesting. One of those roguelikes. Uh, I got this as well. It's kind of like a point and click. I got to finish it. And then, uh, yeah, I got a t actually got a ton of games here that I have to play. I have to finish the play this, finish this. Still got stuff to do here. I want to play more Smash at some point. Uh, haven't played this, haven't finished this, haven't finished this, I'm like still at the beginning of this game, haven't finished this, haven't touched this yet, gonna get back to this, haven't played this, still need to finish this, uh, that's done, haven't finished this, haven't played this, and I haven't done any of the games in this yet, so there's, there's a lot, there's a lot for me to, uh, stream, play Digimon Story, what, uh, I can't stream that whole thing. First off, I'm already like four hours into it. Maybe, you know what? When I get through uh, Cyber Sleuth, maybe I'll stream Hacker's Memory. If you want to watch a Cyber Sleuth playthrough, watch uh, Imakuni's on YouTube. Because that's where I saw this game initially, and I'm like, oh, this game looks so good. Uh, ooh, I don't have either of those. I need to get them. But yeah, I will... Um, I forgot where you are in Digimon, but my whole team consists of near-end evolutions of the Tamers Partners. I have a bunch of special Digimon because when you log into the game, they give you just a bunch of NX Digimon from the beginning. So, if I just want to cheese the game, I could just use them. Uh, anyway. You've played both of them into the floor and still love watching more. You're on PS4, yeah. The Switch version, I don't know if they, they were just like bonuses or what, but... They just gave them all to me at the beginning, and I was like, okay, cool. Um... But yeah, I've I've had enough for today. I need to go. We'll finish AI tomorrow. Thank you guys for coming. I've not had a crowd this big in quite a while. Good to be back after taking an extra week off that I didn't want to. Uh, I was just really busy. Appreciate it, as always. You all have a great evening, great morning, whatever. And maybe I'll see you all tomorrow. Well, I'll be here, but I don't know if you guys will. Thank you for coming. Have a great night. Talk to you later.